feel them uh, stay quite often in my life. Well, every person's body is different and different people require different amounts of sleep. Uh, age is also a consideration. Uh, younger people, uh, teenagers, need more sleep than, than older people, uh, and, and also children as well. Um, the recommended uh, amount of sleep is about eight hours per night uh, on average, but again, that could be very different for different people. What is sleep? The neurobiologists consider sleep as a computer that tidy the messy folders and regulate all the softwares during the times that people are getting rest at night. Then the next morning, people will go to work energetically and be organized well. However, sleep is never a priority in our society. People are as busy as the rushing cars which are never patient to wait. The crowding city that seems illuminated for all nights. They are too busy to sleep. In 2015, the Chinese government issued a report on sleep, in which it stated that more than 60% of Chinese are currently in sleep deprivation. This figure, previously only 13 in 2013, is more than five times higher than in two years. In fact, sleep deprivation has become one of the greatest problems in modern day China. But what exactly are the effects of sleep deprivation on the human body and mind? We are going to find out that by an experiment in which I will engage in 48 hours of sleeplessness. During these 48 hours, we will take different measurements of my body and mind and see how exactly does 48 hours of sleeplessness have effect on the human body. So let's find out. Well, the reaction time um, would certainly slow down. The reaction time would definitely slow down. Uh, when you are sleep deprived, you are definitely unable to concentrate at the, the normal level. Um, in terms of heart rate and blood pressure, I think that depends on the person. I think uh, it's very likely that the heart rate and blood pressure would increase and decrease at different points. Um, but it certainly would not be normal. Well, only a little bit less. Maybe 35, 34. So the time now is 5 p.m. in the afternoon. It's approximately 11 hours without sleep, and this is the first blood pressure test. Okay, um, the readings is high pressure 1, 2, 3. Low pressure is 73 and the heart rate is 63. So the current time is 5.26 in the afternoon. That's approximately 11 hours without sleep. So right now I'm going to do an ACT math test as a standard to measure how my brain is working right now. I'm going to set the timer to be one hour and let's get started. It's 11 o'clock p.m. and that's about 17 hours without sleep. Um, it's a little bit sleepy now and it's like trying to stay awake on a seminar that's really really boring. So here's the, uh, the time for the second blood test. And I mean blood pressure. Uh, so high pressure 117, low pressure 67, heart rate 68, um, all still pretty normal, 
Um, I think the effects will only kick in after 24 hours without sleep, and that's still 7 hours away. So we'll have to wait for tomorrow. That's pretty much it. Still no big effect. Um, so it's 12 o'clock p.m. Um, so it's another test that's taking um, the re reaction time. Um, just another metric um, for testing how my brain is functioning and how well my mind is during this um, 18 hours without sleep. And so I will do reaction time test. So the average score is 390 milliseconds, so that's um, 18 hours without sleep. We will do the test again in 6 hours and see how um, sleepless affects the reaction time. Not sleeping enough and not sleeping well is not okay. As a matter of fact, there is quite a price to pay. In the short term, excessive sleeplessness decreases the daytime alertness, then leads to the impairment of memory and cognitive ability, which is the ability of thinking and processing memory. It also causes stress relationships between bad partners, poor quality of life, occupational injury, and automobile injury. It's 3 o'clock in the morning, and that's 21 hours without sleep, and it's really starting to kick in. I sometimes um, drift off and suddenly fall back into reality and realize that I just drifted off. It's, it's really starting to kick in. Um, the coffee was, was not really helpful. I guess that really depends. It's now the situation is that um, I, I can't really control, and um, there are periods of um, simply um, you want to fall <coughs> into sleep, but then you suddenly um, wake up all again. And um, I guess when I reach the 24 hour mark, um, the situation would be um, very similar and I don't know anything about um, 36 hours without sleep I guess um, you would uncontrollably fall into sleep if no one stops you and that's 21 hours without sleep So now it's 6 a.m. in the morning and it's only been dawn. Lights coming out from the window. And it's it's been hit the 24 hour mark that we've been talking about a lot, but the situation seems like that it hasn't got quite the impact that we were expecting. I'm actually more conscious than I was in the night, and that's probably because I'm used to getting awake at this time, but um, we'll still do the blood pressure test and heart rate test, reaction reaction test, and let's see how um, 24 hours of sleepless this um, affect those measures. Um, so the readings are high for 110, low for 73, and heart rates. 65. It seems like they're still within the normal range. Um, so I don't know what that means. 24 hours of sleeplessness doesn't have great impact. Not significant. 
not sure. Um, and then let's look at the reaction time. Mm, the average is 404 milliseconds. That's about 10 more milliseconds than the last time. Um, there's some some delays. Um, the reaction time is not as good as the um, previous one, but it's not really that significant. Um, about 2.5 percent. In the long term, the clinical consequences of untreated sleep disorders are large indeed. They are associated with numerous serious medical illnesses, including high blood pressure, heart attack, heart failure, stroke, obesity, psychiatric problems including depression and other mood disorders, attention deficit disorder, mental impairment, fatal, and childhood growth retardation. So it's now um, 2.30 p.m. It's in the afternoon and that's about 32 and a half hours without sleep. And we're going to do the blood pressure test and all the other um, measures again. Readings again, 131 for the high pressure and 75 for low pressure. The heart rate is 69 beats per minute. They all seem pretty normal. And I don't think there's um, a lot of difference um, from the last measure. And that has been more than six hours ago. And um, let's take a look at the reaction time. Average is 396 um, milliseconds, which is um, lower than the last measurements, I think four milliseconds lower, which again is not really making quite a difference. It looks like um, six hours of sleeplessness has not affected this um, the test results of um, the reaction time. Um, it's 5 p.m. That's about 35 hours straight without sleep and I swear I'm not going to do this again unless someone wants to torture me. Um, when you get to this state you're so sleepy it, all kinds of combinations of numbers flow through your head like a daydream or just can't stop uh, from lying down and think about a matrix of numbers and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I, want, I just want to lie down and here I am um, trying to take the ACT math test again as a benchmark of how my brain is actually functioning. Um, It's right now um, 1 a.m. in the morning and it's 5 hours from um, 48 hours without sleep. Uh, it's, I guess it's after 36 hours, you get really, really tired and now you're also, now I'm really, really tired and I want to get some sleep. And You've, you feel you feel that um, you can't really control yourself. Um, surge to sleep comes in like waves, and you get dizzy from time to time. 
um, I guess um, the physical function of my body is um, doing all right, but um, I can't really concentrate for a long time, and um, the efficiency of thinking is <coughs> not as high as uh, usual. So I, we're going to take um, the second to last blood, uh, blood pressure test and also reaction time. High pressure 114, low pressure 78, heart rate 61 beats per minute. Um, they're still quite normal um, and nothing has changed a lot. Um, experience like um, almost 30 millisecond drop in reaction time. Um, I guess that's significant enough to draw some attention. So it's that's what happened. It's 40, 43 hours without sleep. It's now five, five o'clock in the morning. It's been 47 hours since um, the, the time when I wake up. And this will be the last test. Average 428 milliseconds. It's um, much, much higher reaction time than the one that I took 20 hours ago. Um, sleeplessness is definitely affecting reaction time. But it's not going to affect you until, say, 36 hours without sleep. I'm going to set the timer for one hour and do the math test. So it's now almost 11 and I just took a shower and um, I got up at around 10 I guess and that really surprised me because I only went to bed um, in like 4 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning and when I got into bed I started this timer so that I could record how long did I sleep but it showed me showed that I only slept for four and ten minutes. Um, that really surprised me. I think I feel good, really well now. I don't feel um, the um, surge to sleep anymore. Although the chest is still a little huffy, but um, I'm more energetic than I was five hours ago. I think that is really interesting. That's much better than last time. The average is 394 milliseconds, that's about five, 50 milliseconds faster than the last time when I, I was lack of sleep for more than 40 hours. So that's pretty decent after 4 hours of sleep. Oh, that's normal. Um, what happens is when you're sleep, when you're sleep, uh, when you're sleep deprived, uh, oftentimes it can mess around with your sleep patterns for a certain amount of time. Because you have to remember that your sleep patterns are controlled by chemicals in your brain. And the whole thing is called the, uh, the circadian rhythm. That's the 24-hour cycle. And that's all controlled by many chemicals in your brain that control uh, when you're feeling tired and when you're not feeling tired. You need to finish your work. Um, sleep deprivation will not is not harmful if it's once in a while. Uh, chronic sleep deprivation, chronic means long term, uh, that is very unhealthy. But um, staying up for 24 hours a day, or one you know once in a great while, especially when you're young, is certainly not going to hurt you. Um, but I would not recommend it doing it on uh, a regular basis. Uh, I would re recommend a third option. Uh, that he stick to his daily routine. That that is, uh, he sleep uh, as usual. Sleep as usual. Yes, and do as much revision work as he can. 
in the evening and uh, go to bed as usual. Neither at 10.30 p.m. nor at 3.30 <laughs> early in the morning. That's my recommendation. So what are the results of this experiment? Well, I didn't sleep for 48 hours and there seems to be no change in my heart rate and blood pressure. However, my reaction time was definitely delayed and my math abilities was crippled. And I, I only get three, four hours of sleep after the experiment, which the experiment messed up my brain and I wasn't able to get a correct sleep time. Also, during the whole next week, I was unable to keep conscious during some of the most exciting events and I felt weary and almost fainted during the whole week. I had to replenish myself by sleeping every afternoon and that was really a torture for me. So my suggestion would be don't stay up late. The costs are much greater than the game. I was free, then I waited in the line for some burgers and some fries, super size.